Taurus, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Taurus, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message, Taurus, begins with don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So, if I boil it down, Taurus, this is an energy of not, you know, worrying what other people think and doing what you feel called to, okay? Because pride can be where we're keeping up appearances or we might be making decisions based on you know, status or, you know, where we feel we should be in our life due to societal expectations. You know, it's time for you to have the strength, courage, bravery and confidence to follow your own call here. So don't let pride get in your way. Sorry, Taurus, we did lose the candle just then. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. We will get through the reading. Okay, I'm building on your message, Taurus, with the Oracle of the Angels, and it's literally wrestling its way out of the deck, and it is Ascension. Yeah, it feels like you're actually uh, going to another level here. You might be spiritually awakening as well with this card. This could be Soul Ascension. But I see someone who's, you know, climbing these stairs here. We have the Tree of Knowledge. You be, might be wanting to ascend in your work career. You might be wanting to ascend in a new direction. Don't let pride go get in your way. Do this for you. This ascension is for you. <clears throat> okay, Taurus. Let's see how this is playing out. I have got the uh, accurate AF round tarot here. And the first card is the Empress. Beautiful. Okay. This is an energy of growth and an energy of real abundance here, but it's through really marching to the beat of your own drum and aligning with your own rhythm. So that's what I'm feeling here. It's time to reconnect with what you really want. The Empress also says that it is fertile prime time to birth a creation or something that you've been wanting for some time, like it's time to take action on that. So what is it for you, Taurus? Don't let pride get in your in your way. This is the time to make it happen. And we have all oh, the priestess. Okay, so this is a card, obviously, of real intuition uh, and really, you know, seeking your own inner counsel and wisdom. It also is a card of, you know, all will be revealed. And if you follow this new, you know, this new path, though, it will lead to the growth. It will lead to, you know, a, a sense of abundance. But it's almost like part of the test here is stepping onto the path, going your own way and maybe overcoming the, you know, the the, the feeling that you have to follow that well-worn path or like the blueprint for, for life that society has set down. Okay, so, and that is really going to give you spiritual ascension. Okay, justice is here. And this is really, how, well, we're in, we're in Libra season right now. And this is the major arcana of Libra. And for me, it's often associated with a big decision, right? That really brings karmic balance back into your life. Now, sometimes there's a legal component. You might be needing to leave an employment contract, enter a new one. You might be dealing, you know, there might be a property ag agreement. They might be moving to a place that you've always wanted to move somewhere out in nature, something like that with the Empress. You're making some kind of justice call finally to birth into reality the type of life that you have wanted. But until now, I feel you have been going against your natural grain and current to do maybe what looks good on the outside or what you felt you should be doing, you know, following the traditional way. But karmic balance is being restored by you going in your own direction. Yeah, the star Aquarian energy coming through, which is really a card of your destiny calling. And it's the Aquarian energy coming through, which is activating your uniqueness. So it's really, it feels like this time with this activation, Taurus, you know, it's almost like, well, I can't even keep doing what I'm doing right now. This call is so strong and it's something to do with your unique um, way of being or it could be, for some of you, it could even be following the career, like the creative career that you've always wanted to or, you know, some kind of quirky skill or talent or like I said, moving to 
the you know beautiful place that you've wanted to that might have less opportunities but it's going to make you really happy that's the energy of god and that's a rebirth energy i just noticed too we have got four from four major arcana so that's really significant okay really significant and oh my goodness five from five major arcana i might make that the last one i don't want to break the run temperance coming through balance this is about a new path being illuminated that's going to bring greater balance to your being and to your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. By going in your own direction and not letting pride go in your way, get in your way, you are aligning to your truth and you are going to bring a greater sense of healing to your life. I feel that by December, you've either made this decision or you've taken a really big step towards it. And then by February, okay, with the star coming through, you know, it's almost like you've you've made the move or you're on the other side of this decision. Temperance also talks to about a, a bit of a divine sweet spot or things lining up like stars are aligning the energy is here for you to act on this now it could be that the right circumstances are there or you don't have the ties you know and you can make this happen so you're being asked to embrace that opportunity and embrace that portal of change i mean the empress is a gorgeous energy of abundance and you know working with your own energy and just feeling you know feeling really good You've got the intuition. No, we don't have the guarantee of everything and you know how it's going to, to unfold, but you're being asked to surrender and allow the universe to shift you in this direction. It's part of your destiny and it's going to bring so much harmony to your life. Five from five major arcana. What can we say? This is huge. This is very significant. What a beautiful reading. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a personal tune in to your specific circumstances, follow the first link down below to my website. You can check out what I offer. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. Sending love and magic. I will see you back here in two days time for your weekly tarot reading. Bye for now.